Azure holds the biggest wave I've ever seen. And the wave we rode two years ago was just the most memorable, smooth, amazing ride. And the wave just got so tall. The wave this year was bumpy and the drop was way longer and but it ended up just barely breaking so it's a little strange and I, I really don't know how big it is it felt bigger definitely felt bigger if we ended up about 10 feet away from the rocks and there was another set coming and uh, Kaylee came to grab me and he, he went a little fast and went by me and then he tried he was putting the rope in my hand so he could pull me even though he missed me with the sled and he was looking at me, I guess, in this way of cross shop. And he went over the cross shop, and then Wade just grabbed him. And he flew off the skis, flying in the air. And uh, I was paddling on my little board. And I was kind of calm and relaxed, just paddling. I didn't realize how close I was to the rocks. And, the, and I swam under the wave, and it almost took me over. And if it had taken me over, we probably wouldn't be talking right now. I, I would have been on the rocks. It would have been really difficult to get out of there alive. I had never claimed the wave to be 100 feet. I claimed to have had a lot of fun on it. When I first caught that wave, it was twice as big as the picture that's going around the world. At Nazare, it's really strange. Some, sometimes a swell will get jumbled up on itself, so it won't draw the bottom. The, it won't draw the water off the bottom, and the waves won't get as tall. They'll be just thick and fat and ugly and and other times they're just groomed perfect and smooth and tall and and the swell was definitely bigger because it was bigger on the charts the feeling it felt bigger the people at billabong put it out there and i'm very honored and grateful that the world appreciates what we do and that we're able to share what we love with the world uh, everybody measures waves different and you can never really measure a wave because you can't find the bottom. You don't know exactly where the bottom is. So you'll never get an accurate wave height. You'll get a... So usually you figure out how tall the guy is and then figure out what five feet is and see how many five feet fit into the wave. But you got to find the bottom, which is the most difficult part. If I had my choice to surf the biggest wave ever or the most perfect barrel, I would choose the barrel. I love the barrels. My, it, I think it's all surfers' favorite place to be. When you get in the barrel, it's like you're in your own little world and time just stands still. You can feel your heart breathing. You can even hear it beating. And it's just like, it's, there's nothing like it. That's a, a pure and simple. Surf for the love of it, not for the size of the wave.